thousands RSVP'd. Hundreds of families were left fuming and say kids were disappointed. On the right, it's a staff member of Dirt Dog in a makeshift bluey costume. The kids were distraught. Some kids were crying. Some kids were upset crying in their parents' shoulders. Hello and welcome back to another Dusk Talks Bluey. And we just got some news that the Wonka experience has infected Bluey. You may be wondering, what are you talking about Dusk? Well, if you haven't heard about the Wonka experience, it was basically a very, very scams version of what was being previewed from an AI art piece. Obviously, a lot of parents and children fell for it. Due to the fact that this AI art piece had a lot of stuff in it, which me, as an artist, is heavily insulted. Due to the fact that you can easily type in a prompt and then it will literally generate an art piece, depending on what prompt is obviously typed in. So what about this news about this fake Bluey event? Well, what's supposed to be a mascot of Bluey meeting in a local place called Dirt Dog Las Vegas turned out to be some bloke in a bandit healer onesie. Now, according to Fox 5 News, thousands of parents have RSVP to see Bluey in the local restaurant. But instead, they got the Wonka Experience Classic and ended up with a guy in a bandit healer onesie. But let's just give him support for the fact that he even tried out to obviously enlighten the event. He tried his best and he probably knew that this event was probably going to fail anyway. Due to the fact that it was supposed to be Bluey, like the actual mascot Bluey. You know those mascots that you usually see in other events, which seems official. But obviously instead in a local restaurant was a different result. Look, people are going to drive like 1-2 to two hours just to get to that place to see the absolute famous mascot of Bluey. But thankfully, Dirt Dog did apologise on their Instagram to the Bluey families obviously about this so-called Bluey. So let this be a lesson to all businesses out there that if you're going to advertise something as genuine, you got to make it genuine obviously. Especially when you're about to invite thousands of parents and children into your restaurant. They probably made like thousands of dollars or pounds from the amount of thousands of parents just to come in and see Bluey. It was literally like taking candy from a baby. Literally. Oh and by the way, this is what the onesie looks like. The restaurant could have at least tried to get like a cheaper version that actually resemble Bluey rather than something that resembles Bandit Healer. They may not be perfect but it definitely resembles the absolute lovable character of Bluey. Now before you go ahead and attack them, just don't. Look, the restaurant tried their best to get a decent output, but just don't attack them, alright? They were just trying their best to obviously continue with the event. Now, next topic, I want to talk about this one person in a podcast publicly talking about her desires for a very lovable character by the community. Now, if you're like me and pay attention on Twitter or TikTok, you probably came across with a podcast group that talks about Bandit Healer. But just to keep things sort of PG and short, she was down bad for him. Yes, the character is kind of hot, but you didn't need to have to like tell your desires for him though. But Mr. Dusk, other people are damn bad for him as well. Yes, but it'll be a very hard thing to do to tell other people to like, stop simping the dad. Yes, this character is so lovable, but damn, you didn't need to like tell everyone your desires for him though. It was probably just for the best to keep it to yourself rather than telling the whole public about your desires for Bandit Healer. But what about other disappointments? If you didn't know, Bluey had its own video game created by Outright Games, which they also created other video game spin-offs of children's TV shows. Now, a lot of fans have argued that this game had a lot of glitches such as dialogue, Come on, Squirt. Let's meet Red in the backyard. Come on, Squirt. Let's meet Red in the backyard. Come on, Squirt. And at some cases, no clipping out of the game. I feel like if the game had a little bit more time before release, the game could have been way more perfect than that. This game was also sort of way overpriced, considering that the franchising was handled by the BBC, which they had a few histories of overpricing a lot of merchandise. But distributing a hyped game with glitches at a tight deadline? Seriously, they could have done better than that. But I will give points for the absolute good imitation of the art style and a decent plot that comes with it in the video game. And so then that concludes this episode of Dust Talks Bluey, Desires and Disappointment. 
Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Feel